have. Yeah. When did you write that one? Um, I wrote that in February or March mm. um, in New York with Mark Ronson. Mm. And uh, we were just walking down the street and I sang the hook. And he burst out laughing. He said, who's that? I said, well, I just made it up. And he was like, That's, that would be really cool. And I said, Zard, listen, let's go to the studio now. I can knock it out now. You went straight there and did it just like that? Yeah, literally. It's like your voice has become more powerful. Your songwriting has become stronger. Do you feel all those things are happening? Um, I definitely, I'm, I'm very proud of this record. And I feel that, you know, unless I could have bettered myself than with the last album, you know, I might as well give up. Mm. And it's a different, it's a great sort of different vibration. It's got a sort of a Motown groove, isn't it? Yes. Did, what's the first music that you listened to, though? Um, a lot of jazz, really, a lot of Sarah Vaughan. There's loads of Sarah Vaughan songs, April in Paris, but I think one of my earliest memories is listening to uh, so my granddad play uh, Tenderly, my pop Larry, oh, Goris nice. Soul, Tenderly. And what, did your granddad play an instrument or would he play it on a record? No, he'd play it. He'd play it on, you know, off a record. Well, yeah, Tenderly. Do you know how to sing that? Yes. Would you give that a go? Yeah. Should we give Tenderly a go? <coughs> well... I think we should, let's get a tempo, hang on, hang on. Could you give us a bit of this? Love that. Great. We love it too. Amy Winehouse. Thanks for having me.